Right, welcome to the channel. Scott Derrickson is out as Doctor Strange director. Big news. Really, really big news. Uh, what does this signify? Well, the statement which has been given, uh, or at least cited with respect to Variety here, because they've got the exclusive, is all to do with creative differences. Now, this is a, a funny thing to follow, because when this was originally announced, there were some comments about it being a scary horror-type movie. Yeah, I think you guys will remember that. And then more recently, Kevin Feige's come out and said, no, it's not going to be like that. So there definitely seems to have been a disconnect from the first announcement to the recent semi, you know, pre-production sort of work. Now, let's get into what Variety have to say. Scott Derrickson is stepping down as director of Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Variety has learned, again, an exclusive for Variety. The studio confirmed his departure in a statement attributing it to creative differences. Derrickson, who oversaw the first Doctor Strange, will remain as an executive producer. So, executive producer doesn't necessarily mean that he is actually working hands-on, especially if there is creative differences involved. So, executive producer could mean a multitude of different things, okay? It could quite simply be he's put up a bucket load of money, so he will be taking home a bucket load of money. Uh, now, normally that does mean that they do get a lot of creative control. However, very clearly here, that is not the case. So, him staying on is very simply, I'm getting some money from this. That's all that is, and it's very, very clear as day, the case, when we know it's down to creative differences. Uh, or he could just be on there as a name to avoid a PR disaster, and then Marvel have just given him some money off the back end of it. Because Marvel have long been teased for having terrible, very, very much terrible, creative uh, you know, oversight of their their properties too much basically they're, they're too hands-on they don't let directors get involved and do what they want to do so i think that's probably the case it's either he's just on as a money man which is again it doesn't take a genius to figure that out or they've paid him off and they're just keeping him on as a name now it continues right marvel studios and scott derrickson have amicably parted ways on doctor strange in the multiverse of madness due to creative differences, Marvel said in a statement to Variety. We, we remain grateful to Scott for his contributions to the MCU. Derrickson also said the decision was mutual. Marvel and I have mutually agreed to part ways on Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness due to creative differences. Derrickson tweeted out, I am thankful for our collaboration and will remain on as EP. I think we all need to read between the lines a little bit on this. I think he has he's essentially been given the boot he's a money man or they've given him a payday now the film will begin production in may we're in january again let's read between the lines this is not good news this is not good news uh, and i know you know I, I get chastised all the time for apparently being overtly negative and things like this but seriously it's january they parted ways due to creative differences and they're beginning production in May. Ugh. They also say there's not any delays expected when it comes to shooting. The search for a replacement is currently underway. I would imagine they've either already found a replacement or they definitely are pushing this back. But this is not good. Not good at all. January. To be, well, essentially, what, four months away from uh, shooting date? They will probably hire someone that they can absolutely control on this. And I think this is interesting for a few reasons, because this is the first branch of Marvel movies post-Endgame, I guess, outside of Spider-Man Far From Home. And this is the first sign of trouble. You know, this is one of the, well, one of the first movies anyway. And first sign of trouble, we don't really know how they're approaching things moving forwards. It definitely seems to be some kind of disagreement on the narrative moving forwards. That's how it looks like to me, anyway. Now, Doctor Strange was obviously a critically and commercial success when it opened in 2016, grossing nearly 680 million globally. The sequel will find Benedict Cumberbatch returning as Strange, a master of the mystic arts. Uh, mystic arts. Elizabeth Olsen, who plays Scarlet Witch, is also expected to appear in the film. Now, that's interesting as well. Got creative differences. Maybe it's because they wanted to line this up more 
with one division. Terrible name. Uh, because of course, if she's expected to appear in that, in this anyway, and she's due to appear in that Disney Plus series, maybe Scott Derrickson wanted a really horror-filled movie. That was from the initial announcement, remember? It was going to be a horror-based movie. I mean, that's why you hire him, right? I mean, he did the exorcism of Emily Rose, Sinister. Why else would you hire Scott Derrickson? You know? Yes, of course, you know, he worked on the first one. But he's a horror guy. You need that horror element. Use him to his best ability. I think this comes down to the fact that they had initially touted this as a horror piece. Then moving forwards, we heard very clear backtracking from Kevin Feige. No, it won't be so based in horror. It won't be like that. And then bang, he's left. Follow the breadcrumbs. I think we, we know why this has happened. Definitely creative differences due to uh, Scott Derrickson probably pitching a horror movie. Then Kevin Feige due to the production of WandaVision. Backtracking on that. Realising, no, that's probably not a good deal. We probably shouldn't be doing this. Because Scarlet Witch... Uh, I, I actually think they definitely should be doing this, by the way. Uh, but Scarlet Witch, obviously, in WandaVision, then in uh, this, probably won't work. Because they're probably going to want to use this as a leapfrog to push WandaVision. I think that's what we're going to start seeing now this year, is a lot of these Disney Plus series being pushed by the movies. Because Disney will want to get people on their Disney Plus subscription. Now, interestingly, uh, this is scheduled for release May 7th. 2021 and again Derrickson's credits include The Exorcism of Emily Rose Sinister and Marvel as several films slated to hit theatres before Doctor Strange conjures up his return to the big screen this May brings Black Widow with Scarlett Johansson reprising her role as the former Soviet spy and 2020 will close out with the November release of The Eternals the story of a race of immortal aliens and in February 2021 Marvel will unveil Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings as his first Asian-led movie. Now, what can we glean from this? Creative differences, my ballsack. I reckon Marvel were getting their sticky fingers too involved. At the end of the day, why do you hire Scott Derrickson? Why do you hire Scott Derrickson? He's good with horror. The fact that it was initially touted as horror, then Kevin Feige backtracked, then we get this. Yeah. Uh, the fact that he's staying on as EP, I don't think is anything to to really push ahead as anything uh, special. I don't think that's something where we can go, yep, yeah, this is amazing, this is great, it doesn't mean, any, you know, there's any problems involved. I definitely think there is. I think that means that he's essentially just been relegated as, as the money man. So, he's either been given some payoff, which it definitely could be the case, um, or... He's still just the money man, and he's going to get his payoff at the end of the payday. So what do you guys think of this? Did you like the first Doctor Strange? And did you like the fact that Scott Derrickson was going to stay on? Now, I think one of the pros of keeping some people on, especially when they've had a certain aesthetic, because Doctor Strange definitely had an aesthetic, right? Like There was all the mind-bendingness uh, of the movie, the almost Inception style. I think having, uh, having him on board for this movie could have been really really good so it is a shame that he has exited the project can't speak but what do you guys think pros cons good bad let me know and what do you think about the marvel cinematic universe moving forwards in this new phase post endgame are you for it are you against it what do you think is going to happen good bad i'd love to hear any and all of your thoughts also if you didn't see yesterday's video i posted it quite late it is linked above it is the connection between Event Horizon and Hellraiser. Return to my older style video. Please do give it some support and please do share it. Anyway though, guys, like I said, leave all your thoughts down below. If you are new here, do hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thank you so much though, guys. Have a missed age. Take care.